Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method part 3. So, let's get going. So, we are given a differential equation of order 2. And here, y double dash is nothing but derivative of uh, d square y by dx square or derivative of y. Second derivative of y otherwise. Okay. And also y2 is also a second derivative of y we can write y2 as d square y by dx square okay fine given differential equation y2 plus y equal to secant x or y double dash plus y equal to secant x or d square y by dx square plus y equal to secant x. We can write d square y by dx square in terms of differential operator or operator form d square y plus y equal to secant x. Now take y common from the first two terms. We'll get d square plus 1 into y equal to secant x consider as equation number one now we need to find the solution of this general solution of this equation just given by y equal to yc plus yp so here we'll find yc using the auxiliary equation okay and later we'll find yp using or with the help of yc let's see that later Okay, now this equation is in operator form say f of d into y equals to some r of x. Okay, where f of d is d squared plus 1 and r of x is secant x. Where f of d equal to d squared plus 1. And r of x equal to secant x. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we are having f of d d square plus 1 right let's replace the differential operator with m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1 now the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equals to 0 now we need to find the root so that we'll take plus 1 to RHS, then we'll get m square equals to minus 1. From this, we'll get m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1. Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i, so let's replace square root of minus 1 with i, so that we'll get m equal to plus or minus i. We know that when m equal to a plus or minus i b, the general solution, sorry, not the general solution, the complementary function is given by e power ax into some constant say c3 or c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx okay this is equals to e power if a is equals to 0 then we'll get e power 0 into x which is e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx since we know that e power 0 is 1, so this becomes yc equals to 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? From this we'll get yc equal to c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx, right? Now, compare plus or minus i with plus or minus ib, then we'll get the complementary function y c equals to c1 cos 1 into x plus c2 sine 
1 into x or from this we'll get y c equals to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. See here the roots are complex conjugate. Now, we'll get yp using the formula. Just replace c1 and c2 by or the parameters or the constants, arbitrary constants by a and b which are functions of x. Then we'll get a cos x plus b sin x. Okay. Or we can just compare yc with c1 u plus c2v. Now, replace c1 and c2 with a and b, then we'll get yp equal to, then yp is given by au plus bv. Here, u is cos x and v is sin x. Okay? And we need to find a, b. Let yp equal to a cos x plus b sin x where a and b are functions of x and u equal to cos x, v equal to sin x, right? And we need to find a and b, right? a is given by formula integral minus v into r of x by uv1 minus vu1 into dx and b is given by u into r of x by uv1 minus vu1 into dx. Okay. See here if you notice you're having uv1 minus vu1 in both the formulae. So we need to find it separately. And also you're having r of x which is RHS part of non-homogeneous equation. We got second x here. And we are having u, v and u. So let's find a and b. Firstly, we'll find u, v1 minus v, u1. And then we'll go for a and b using this formula. Okay. u, v1 minus v, u1 or u into v dash minus v into u dash. Okay. Let me remove these brackets. It will be more convenient, I think. This equals to u cos x into v dash sin x whole dash minus v into u dash cos x whole dash. Okay. Here v1 is nothing but v dash and u1 is nothing but u dash. This equals to cos x into derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x minus sin x into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x. This equals to cos square x minus into minus plus sin square x or you can write it as sin square x plus cos square x. Since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So this equals to 1. Therefore, u v1 minus v u1 equal to 1. Let's now find a and b using these two formulae. a is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 into dx. This equals to integral minus v is sin x into r of x is secant x by u v1 minus v u1 is 1. This equals to minus integral sin x into secant x dx. This equals to minus integral sin x into since we know that secant theta can be written as reciprocal of cos theta. So we'll just replace secant theta with reciprocal of cos x into dx. This equals to minus integral sin x by cos x into dx which is equals to minus integral 
tan x dx is equal to minus tan x dx is log secant x plus some integral constant. Okay, it's not necessary to write integral constant. Just leave it like this because we are already having c1 and c2 and yc, right? Which exists in general solution. So we are going to include a and b in yp. So automatically we'll get arbitrary constants there. So it's not necessary to write any arbitrary constants here. Okay, now let's find b. We got a equals to minus log secant x. b is given by integral u into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 into dx. This equals to integral u. Substitute u r of x and the denominator part will get u this cos x into r of x secant x by 1 into dx. This equals to integral cos x into secant x dx and secant x or secant theta equals to reciprocal of cos theta. So we'll replace secant theta here with reciprocal of cos x so that we can cancel cos x and this becomes integral dx which is equals to x. Okay. Therefore, b equal to x. We got a and b. Let's now substitute this in yp. It's not general solution, okay? It's just yp. Now, substitute a and b in yp then yp becomes a minus log secant x into cos x plus b x into sin x this becomes minus cos x log secant x plus x sin x which is our required yp right therefore yp equal to minus cos x log secant x plus x sin x and already we have yc let's now find general solution using y equals to yc plus yp therefore the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc, c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and yp is minus cos x log secant x plus x sin x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.